Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your Senior Enlisted Advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Now, this is not just an ordinary episode, though. This is our second anniversary episode. So can I get a hand clap for that? Let's, let's, let's clap it up for the second anniversary of Chief Chat. So since this is an extra special uh, episode, let me introduce an extra special guest host. So the original host of Chief Chat and my good friend, Chief Master Sergeant Louis Reyes. What where you at, Chief Ray? There you go. Let's oh, look at the clap. Man, that studio audience is huge out there, man. I see. Thanks for the clap, guys. Appreciate that. Thank hey, you. Now we got the applause. Too. Yeah, we got the applause thing in the background. So they're just they're just over there waiting, waiting on me to give them the cue. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much for having me on, uh, KO. I appreciate it. You know, we started this a year ago, and our and our first guest was someone special, and you're gonna find out soon here who it is. But just to everyone. You know, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in Facebook land. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much. Awesome. And I can't forget about my lovely co-host, Kiana Holloman and Dora Trillo. How y'all doing, ladies? Hey, hey Chief. Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah. A happy anniversary, man. And it's going to be an awesome show, right? For oh sure. We're gosh. totally stuck. So, so we're going to keep up with this uh the theme of being extra special, we have an extra special celebrity guest today that has graced our platform for the third time. So, Kiana, please introduce today's guest. We are celebrating Chief Chat's second anniversary with a longtime friend and one of our favorite past guests. He is one of Hollywood's biggest names, and best of all, he has a huge heart for our nation's heroes. Please give it up for Mark Wahlberg. Hey. Hi guys. Hey Mark. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, awesome, awesome. Mark, welcome back, man. We we super honored having you with us today. Uh, and we always look forward to having you on the show. Obviously, to say it's a long that you're a longtime friend to the exchange is an understatement. Uh the last time you were on the show, you were you were bulking up, meaning you were eating cheeseburgers and steaks and all kind of other stuff for uh for fathers too. And so uh so Ooh. can you let us know where you're coming to it from today and kind of what you've been up to since the last chief chat? uh well still trying to recover from the weight gain working on promoting father stew just finished promoting uh uncharted uh you know i've got now three teenagers in the house so dealing with all that stuff getting ready to go and shoot a movie in europe and trying to you know keep everything else on track with you know all of my business interests but most importantly just trying to find that balance of family and uh and then my business Sound like you're chilling then, huh? <laughs> uh, you know, never, never, never a dull moment. <laughs> awesome. Hey, so, so, so glad to hear you're doing well, Mark. We appreciate it. I actually had a bunch of jokes lined up, you know, but I know you're Hollywood, and I know a lot of Hollywood stars has been slapping the heck out of people lately. So I'm going to refrain from my jokes today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have you a good sense I mean? of humor, so I, I'm uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. But. <laughs> hey, so we heard, you know, you have that new uh, movie releasing April 13th. So uh, for all Chief Chat viewers, check with your local real-time theaters for showtimes. Father Stu is based on a true story. Why is this so important for you to get this story out? Well, for many reasons. I would say personally um, and at the forefront is my wanting to continue to do more to serve God and, and utilize the platform that I have to do good and to bring people together and continue to let people know um, that, you know, they're not forgotten, that they are loved and supported and that, you know, want to encourage people to have hope and continue to uh, encourage people to pursue their faith. So I've always wanted to just do more. I know I've been so blessed and so fortunate and what, how I utilize those gifts uh, is very important to me and something that I think about quite often. And it's also, it's just an amazing, inspiring story that really touches everybody because obviously everybody's going through difficult times, especially with the pandemic and everything else and just dealing with, with all the different curveballs that life throws at you. So this is a movie that couldn't be more timely. It really has helped promoting healing and understanding and love. Uh, and so we're, we're really excited about it. It's the most, it's the most important film that I've been a part of thus far. Wow. 
Yeah, just last month, you were um, also on the big screen with Uncharted, um, which is playing at select exchange real-time theaters for our military family out there. But congratulations on the film's success. What has it been like promoting two films back to back? Um, you know, what's really good because people are going back to the theater. I think that kind of experience is so important for people to go to a theater, connect with, uh, with, with other people, laughing, crying together, you know, for people uh, who are dealing with the pandemic and, you know, being in isolation for such a long time and having to quarantine, to be able to go to a restaurant, to go to a theater, to go to a concert, just to interact with people and connect is so important. So thankfully, Sony is really adamant about people uh, going and experiencing films in the theater. And, and that's, uh, you know, that's the way I think this movie really needs to be seen and experienced because there's so much laughter, there's so, many, there's so much emotion, but ultimately it's so uplifting. And to know that the person next to you, either side or in front of you or behind you, they're all kind of relating to it. And people realize that we all have the same kind of human experiences and we want to be there to support each other. Forget about all the other stuff and the politics aside. You know, people need to know that they're loved and supported and that... Uh, and that, you know, they care for. And this is a movie that is for everybody. Everybody that has seen it has really been touched by it. So it's, it's wonderful to have that experience. That is so cool. And of course, we did miss being in the theaters during that time we, we couldn't watch in person. But, you know, this is my first time speaking with you, Mark, because I'm new to the show. But you have been a friend to The Exchange for years you know, from special shout outs ahead of the Army Navy games and helping us honor our veterans, um, the exchange can always count on you. So what's ahead for you and the exchange? You know, lots of great stuff going on, but I just want to continue to do everything that I can to support uh, our brave men and women who serve our country and, the, and their families. And then if I can provide great services, great experience, then I want to continue to do that. And please, anything else that I can do, uh, point me in the right direction because I just feel so indebted for the sacrifice that they make and I feel just so much love and appreciation. So that's uh, that's a given. I would love to just do anything that I can to continue to do my, my part and show my support. Well, Mark, you, you got the military community live uh, with, with us today. So um, the floor is yours. You wanna give a shout out to our nation's heroes? Yes, absolutely. Thank all of you guys for all of your service, dedication, commitment to our country, to our freedom. Uh, you don't go, uh, there doesn't go a day, doesn't go by where you're not in my thoughts and my prayers. I also want to give a special shout out to, to Sergeant Naomi Graham, the, one of the greatest boxers of all time. Uh, she's become a friend of mine. I've been rooting for her, but you know, um, I just, I can't continue to, you know, uh, I, I just really can't put into words the amount of appreciation and respect that I have, despite people's own personal beliefs, men and women who go up and sign up, uh, they put it all aside to protect us and, and to defend our great nation. So just really supportive uh, and want to continue to do everything I can to show my appreciation. So thank you, everybody. Yeah. And I'm glad you gave a shout out to uh, Staff Sergeant Graham because we had her on the show. Uh, she's an amazing boxer and, and she... She, she's a she's a real deal real deal she's an amazing boxer she's an amazing woman she's an amazing inspiration uh she continues to inspire me um she just had a had a, had a tough fight down there in ecuador and uh lost by a very close decision i think it was certainly questionable when it goes to the judge's hands you never know but just to see how she's responding to that and how she's going to come back stronger and you know, it's 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 those tough losses that really kind of shape and define who you are and your character. And so I cannot wait to see what she does next. And you know, if I could just oh wow, show half the courage that she does, I think I'd be able to do a lot of good in this world. And so uh, very very grateful to her and and, and uh, you know all of the people that are down there. Well, Mark, you, of course, are getting so much love on our live stream. Just checking the comments right now. Lots of homeboys and homegirls. Massachusetts is in the house representing. Um, people are saying, God bless you. Sergeant First Class, retired Sergeant First Class, Pastor Jerry Higdon sends you so much love. And I also see a question from Tom. He just wants to know Thank you, what do you have going on when it comes to the exchange. Like, what's up? What's ahead for you? Um, well, you know, the exchange obviously has been very supportive. Anything that we do, we want to provide that and create a great experience and a value proposition for our, 
for our uh, servicemen and women and for their families, their spouses. Um, so, you know, we're trying to just create wonderful experience, whether it's in the content space, uh, an experience at Wahlburgers with F45, uh, with performance inspired nutrition, giving them the best products out there for the best price. Uh, we, we have the greatest warriors in the world. They deserve the best of the best. And we're just trying to provide everything that we can. But most importantly, the support and the love and the prayer. And so anytime I get a chance to go thank them in person, I'm coming. And got lots of cool stuff coming up in the future. I'll be seeing uh, people alive in the flesh. I can't wait that because nothing better than having that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I can't wait to come visit you guys in person instead of on a Zoom call. Right. Hey, I, I, I agree, Mark. In person, uh, there's no better way. I remember when you came to the exchange headquarters a couple of times and everyone just loves to have you there. And I'm sure the same thing when you go to the installations, everyone just loves to have you there. So I know you got something cooking in the kitchen. Well, Chief Reyes, I just want to say one thing, too. You're, you're on your best behavior on a Zoom call, but once you get in the ear, you start chirping. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's as cold as it gets. Oh, you man. Know how we got do. you uh, on your best behavior. That, that jersey come. That jersey comes out real quick, man, when he's not on a Zoom call. <laughs> oh, so listen, Chief, I just want to tell you real quick. So I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys the first exclusive. I'm starting to shoot a movie uh, in April, Halle Berry and myself. It's called uh, Our Guy from Jersey. It's our kind of version of a James Bond type of character. Jersey guy uh, who was in a relationship with the love of his life. They separated. She comes back to lure him into this kind of world of secret agents and everything. And he's just a Jersey guy at heart. And he always screws everything up, but does it the Jersey way, usually with these. And uh, it's it's going to be so much fun. So look out for it. Our guy from Jersey, our own version of James Bond. is going to be very cool. That is awesome. yeah, I, need, I need to make a cameo. A cameo, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we, can, we can arrange that. Dirty jerks in the house. Dirty jerks. Maybe I can be sipping some yep. coffee at a diner or something. <laughs> I'm from Jersey too. Patterson, Patterson. <laughs> we're all claiming Jersey. Jersey now. Yeah, we're all from Jersey. Okay. Well, that kind of leads to my line of question. You kind of hinted at it. Uh, what other new products do you have? What could you give us a scoop on? So, anything else besides this uh, this movie, uh, this upcoming uh, Jersey project with Halle Berry? Um, well, again, you know, we, we, we just launched Fletcher Zool, which is a high end premium tequila. I partnered up with Abraham Answer, who is, uh, you know, top 10 golfer in the world and his partner, our own Marquez, um, two very young, talented entrepreneurs who uh, I fell in love with both personally and professionally. Just great guys, all about family, incredible work ethic, huge supporters of the military. And they really are experts in the tequila space. So to be able to provide something that is absolutely fantastic for the customers was something that I wanted to invest in and support them and, you know, create an awareness and excitement around their product because all you have to do is have people try it. But uh, we're doing lots of cool stuff. And again, I just want to get back to the reason why I made stew and the things that I'm focusing on more, um, just trying to uh, utilize the platform that I have and the talents and gifts that God's given me to do more of his work. So creating more positive content that brings people together. This is all about bringing people together. Uh, the movie especially really is a clear, uh, makes a clear statement that nobody is beyond redemption. We want, we don't want to turn our backs on people and forget about people. We want to spread love and inclusion and people know that people care about them. We're not going to give up hope because if people feel like nobody cares about them, then they're not going to have hope and, and they're going to lose their faith. And we want to remind people that we're not giving up. We're not turning our backs. We're going to stay there and support you as long as you want to do the right thing and you're willing to repent. Then you have our, you know, as many opportunities as you need to turn it around. We're going to be there to support you. Right. Well, we have so many comments popping up. I could barely keep up with them from earlier, but I want to make sure we get to more of your fans so they can be heard. Um, Blake Richardson is saying hello from Kansas City. Um, Megan Mugellian, I hope I'm not messing your name up. She would love to see you at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Um, Michael Zers right. has stopped me to a day. Lots of love still. People sharing their prayers, their positive thoughts with you, Mark, and just saying how big of an inspiration you are. I also want to shout out LJ Eve. He is a representative for TRX, and he says that you are a tremendous supporter of the military, the exchange, and also the TRX brand. Absolutely. Keanu, hey, Mark, one thing here I want to I want to give a live shout out. Hey, come on up real quick. Come over here real quick. Live <laughs> shout out. Our fresh Captain Johnson, come over here. 
Just a lie. Say what's up. Say what's up. Don't be scared. They got a nerd. Captain Johnson. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> hey, Cap. How are you, sir? Nice to see you guys. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mark, that, that was awesome. We love that message about just being there for other people and letting them know they're not alone. I think a lot of us need that. And, um, you know, of course, our military just love you and they're big fans of you. Um, so can you please remind us where can we go find out a little bit more about Uncharted and Father Stu? Uh, I think you could either look up uh, fatherstew.com. Uh, it's on Instagram. It's, it's kind of out there everywhere. There you go. Uncharted has been in theaters. Uh, since March and Father Stu will be opening on April 13th, the middle of Holy Week. And, you know, again, it's a real reminder that, you know, people find finding their faith and their purpose and not losing hope. And uh, Stu was an incredible guy. He had been through so much. He had such a colorful life. But when and he was a very physical guy, he was a boxer. He was a football player. Um, but when he found God, even though he was diagnosed with a rare disease, he started to lose his physical abilities, but his spirituality soared. And it was the most important thing. He really found his purpose and he touched so many people and put so many people back on the right track to doing positive things and pursuing their faith and, uh, and having a positive impact on their community and their surroundings. And so, um, it's really going to inspire a lot of people and challenge people to, to just, you know, dig a little bit deeper and, and, uh, help out whenever they can. Awesome. Awesome. Wise words. And so kind of some housekeeping. So for our Chief Chat viewers, this episode will be available on YouTube and Spotify. You can rewatch with your friends or catch up with past episodes. Also, be sure to join us at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, April 5th, when Moving with the Military host Maria Reed joins the chat. So, uh, Mark, man, it's always a pleasure having you with us. Uh, like I said, we, we can't thank you enough for, for sharing some time. Uh, I love the, the message that you kind of you've been saying this whole episode about doing good by other folks and, and you, you're, you're kind of strong in your spiritual conviction and, and you just want to do right for the world. So uh, I, I check you out on Instagram, man. You're always doing positive stuff. You're always uplifting folks. You're trying to get us in the gym. I need to probably follow that a little bit, a bit, little bit more, but um, just thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Um, but I will, I will let Chief Reyes, since th he started this show two years ago, I'm gonna let him wrap it up for us. <laughs> Hey, you thank know how you, it is. It's been great. It, hey, thank you so much. It's been great catching up with you, Mark. Uh, thank you for helping us celebrate another great year of military exclusive interviews. God bless. Thanks for everything. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Cool. Hey, I love you guys. You know, I can't wait to see you in person. Can't wait to visit uh, um, you guys, wherever you guys are at in Dallas, wherever. But again, a big, big shout out to all of our brave men and women who are serving our country, their spouses, they make amazing sacrifice. Uh, and, and a lot of people don't realize how big a sacrifice that is. Um, just, you know, having to hold down the fort while their loved ones are away. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. And, you know, we all got to do more. We all got to do more to support each other and especially supporting our servicemen and women, our, our public servants, people who are out there in the community, our teachers, people who are really doing the work uh, that real heroes sometimes don't get the recognition for. But I'm certainly going to tip my cap every time I can and put my money where my mouth is every time I can to support. So thank you, guys. Oh, man. Thank you so much. And Mark, if you don't mind staying, uh, staying on uh, for some formal goodbyes. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end the podcast and uh, Chief Chat out.